Bowen Smith. Thank you, President Officer. Well, electric vehicles do impact on air pollution through brake and tire dust, so we need fewer cars, not just cleaner cars. AVs do not emit NO2, so are part of the solution in improving air quality. The Climate Change Committee estimates we will need at least 30,000 public EV charging points in Scotland by 2030, but the Government's target is just over 4,000 in the next few years. With only 395 public charging points installed last year, when does the Minister think Scotland will reach the 30,000 public EV points that we desperately need in Scotland? Minister. Um, presiding officer, I should allow my colleague, the Transport Minister, to respond directly on questions of, of transport and indeed um, charging infrastructure as it relates to that. But having said that, part of the Cleaner Air for Scotland 2 strategy is about bringing together, recognising that air quality is a multifaceted issue which requires to work across uh, government. So I am working closely with uh, the Transport Minister as well as with planning and health colleagues. But I think it's important so I, I, I suppose what I'm saying is I'll have to come back to the member with an estimation of when uh, the, the rollout of EV infrastructure will be where he thinks it ought to be. But I would draw the, the Chamber's attention to two key provisions um, for transport as they are linked to air quality. Firstly, our commitment to uh, reduce the car kilometres driven by 20% by 2030 and indeed to phase out, the, um, phase out new petrol and diesel vehicles by the same date. Both of those will have a significant impact on air quality in Scotland. 